it is essential to review and correct the relationship between modern man and natural resources, recovering the appreciation of the night sky, an authentic social, cultural, and aesthetic heritage that has accompanied and amazed us since the dawn of our civilization. NG has completed the new public lighting system of Frosinone. Our involvement covered 8,325 lighting fixtures, 175 electrical panels, and 9,500 meters of power line for a total management of the plant of 14 years. We chose Kriyazar Technology Partner for this project. The LED luminaires installed feature cutting-edge technologies and have enabled a quick and easy installation. Thanks to all these, the city reached a new status, qualifying itself as a smart city. The new system includes the management of video surveillance, Wi-Fi, sound diffusion and recharging of electric vehicles. Each luminaire is equipped with an output regulation device as required by national and regional regulations for the limitation of light pollution. Overall, the energy saving reaches 66% with a total reduction of over 12,000 tons of CO2 emissions in the atmosphere and around 4,000 tons less consumption of oil. The A3S network relies on plant system operators and energy companies, primary and national level. This allows us to manage even the most demanding challenges. The collaboration with Cree proved to be fundamental to achieve a quality result that satisfied everyone. We have received specific support and information regarding the products, technological updates, and performance to identify the ideal lighting solution for the various areas that define the urban layout of the city. Through our computerized system IMAP, we have managed in an organic way all the phases of the project, from the sensors of the lighting bodies to the installation and management of public lighting systems. The project numbers are impressive. Over 8,000 lighting points involved, 175 electrical panels, for a total management of the plant of 14 years. The concrete benefit for the municipality, thanks to the total renewal of the infrastructure, has resulted in an energy saving of over 50%. The Frosinone project represented a real challenge for our study. We paid great attention to respecting the city's identity in the night scenery through the selection of warm color temperatures with a high optical control improving the quality of the lighting and the visual perception of urban spaces. In this way, we have ensured optimal visibility and safety conditions, with a total elimination of harsh illumination and light dispersion towards the sky. The parties we had to consider to reach the final result included the most varied profiles, the municipal administration, the citizens, NG, and finally the Astronomical Observatory, located on the territory that represents excellence at a national level. Light pollution is the progressive disappearance of the night sky, with the sometimes absolute loss of the vision of the light coming from the stars. The origin of this problem lies in the light sent by external lighting systems, both public and private, over 90 degrees angles, therefore directly to the sky. The light radiation, intercepted and amplified by atmospheric dust and smog, generates a diffused glow that creates an unnatural artificial lighting of the night sky in the shape of a visible light bubble. The municipality of Frosinone was the first one in Italy to approve a light pollution regulation back in 1996 progressively reducing light emission by over 50 million lumens in about 10 years. It is estimated that a city of about 50,000 inhabitants can save every year for public facilities only something like 150,000 euros of the cost of the energy bill. The light pollution, which now inexorably afflicts the whole planet, affects all citizens 
and not just the scholars of the sky. The International Dark Sky Association, with over 10,000 members, was established in 1998 to fight the increasing spread of this phenomenon. Our experience with pre-engineers for the modification of the facilities in Frosinone was certainly positive. Firstly, because we have seen a real commitment to the protection of the night sky. We have also appreciated something that rarely occurs, the study that was done to identify the right degree of luminance to be assigned to each road based on the technical category of the amount of light to be installed to meet the real needs of traffic and users. This entailed, for the first time, consciousness and never unnecessarily using more light than needed. Moreover, the use of full cut-off optics has almost eliminated the direct dispersion of light upwards. With this philosophy, great results have been obtained, not only for energy saving, but also for the reduction of the total luminous flux emitted. We noticed a recovery in terms of visibility of about 50% compared to the city centre previously. The result of the operation was also certified with observations from the Campo Catino Observatory, from which the visible light bubble effect was seen to decrease appreciably. Frosinone now enjoys a new look, and citizens can finally reconnect to the public space, appreciating the beauty of the city and the grandeur of the starry sky that surrounds it at night.